Today I want to very briefly demo a couple of changes I just made to Koyo um, version 0.9. Um, so here we have Machacha. Um, it's, it's running locally on my machine over here. Um, and here I have a module within it. Uh, if I make a change to this module and save it, uh, you'll notice that it reloads pretty quickly. Um, so before, this would have taken anywhere from 5 to 10x this amount of time. Um, and the reason for that was that previously on every change, we would restart the whole process. Um, but now we use Racket's built-in um, re-require feature, which was recently improved by Daniel Holtby. Um, so this should make iterating on changes much quicker. So for example, if I just go to the home page, uh, whoops, home page over here, and I just make a dumb change, right? I just double the hero there. And you can see it, it was almost instantaneous. It, it reloaded as quickly as I was able to, to tab out into my browser. Uh, make the, undo the change and there we go. So that's pretty cool. I think. And then another one is improved support for working in individual modules. And so if I load this module into uh, racket mode over here, um, obviously I can use um, all the stuff in here. So let's see. I could just make a product, right? So make product. It needs a bunch of stuff. But let's see. So name, test, and then slug, test. Uh, it's not going to have an image ID. And then everything else has a default. So define P as a product. So I could already do this. Uh, the problem was when I wanted to, for example, make a product manager and interact with the database, I would have to like set up my own database connection and then pass that into make product manager right um, but now there's a feature that lets me um, reuse all the system definitions in here and, and my my apps configuration and just bring that all into a running REPL so I can just require submod of Koyo console dev uh, whoops uh, so it's it's the dev sub module of Koyo console. And what that did is it actually found the dynamic module. It required the production system. Um, and then it started it. So now if I look at current system, we see there is there is a system in there and I can do something like system ref to whoops, I meant to type DB. Uh, and I can do that to, to get the database. And so now um, I could make my own product manager. Right. And then I could call something like product manager list to get all the products. Um, so this should make, you know, instantiating components inside a REPL much easier. And this is this is connected to my local database, right? So this is live data. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I had for today. Um, hope that was interesting.